entire west coast of the United States is part of the so-called Pacific Ring of Fire. As such, it is subject to earthquake activity and flooding from tsunami waves. The city of Newport on Oregon's central coast is no exception. Most of the city is located near high ground, so escape from the tsunami threat is easy. Newport's low-lying South Beach community, however, is different. This area is home to the Oregon Coast Aquarium, NOAA Marine Operations Center, Hatfield Marine Science Center, and many other residences and businesses. This neighborhood can have a high population in the summer months, making tsunami evacuation a difficult, lengthy, and dangerous process. The city recognized this and in 2012 began making plans to solve the problem. Working with state and local partners, they identified an area of high ground that could serve as a safe zone. There was an existing path to the top, but it was largely overgrown and steep, making access difficult for many. In 2013, Newport's Community Development Director and the Oregon State Hazard Mitigation Officer put together a project to improve the accessibility and public awareness of this evacuation route. This project was eventually submitted to FEMA as a grant proposal for the Hazard Mitigation Grant Program. Ultimately, Newport was awarded $680,478 in federal funding. This combined with $264,564 in non-federal funding produced a completed project by 2016. Today, Newport's South Beach community is safer. The project created wider paths with a more gentle grade to the top of Safe Haven Hill. These paths extend all over the neighborhood, making the hill accessible without crossing heavy traffic. In addition, signage throughout the neighborhood directs pedestrians to safety. A cache of supplies at the top provides support for up to 2,300 evacuees for 24 hours. Tsunamis can still occur here, but now visitors and residents have a safe place to go and can quickly and easily get there. If you're interested in learning how hazard mitigation can benefit you or your community, visit fema.gov forward slash mitigation.